Hi all. Welcome to Raw Online. Today we are going to deal with one important vascular pathology that is abdominal aortic aneurysm. Coming to the history, the most intelligent man of 19th century, Einstein, had a very good relationship with the abdominal aortic aneurysm. In 1948, he was shifted to the operating room for the diagnosis of intestinal cyst. When they opened up the abdomen, they were surprised to see abdominal aortic aneurysm instead of a cyst. So what they did is, they wrapped the aneurysm with the cellophane so that the aneurysm doesn't expand. What happened in the next six years? Einstein had a lot of abdominal pain after two or three years post-surgery. Then finally, he died at the age of 76. The cause of death was a burst artery. That is nothing but the aneurysm gave way and ruptured. From Einstein's story, we have three major points. First is, ruptured aortic aneurysm is almost always fatal. Next, you can't wrap up an aneurysm. The aneurysm will expand and definitely it will blow out. Third, it is an incidental finding. With this background, let us move into the anatomy of iota first, then we will move into abdominal iota. The iota originates from the left ventricle as the ascending thoracic iota. Then it continues as arch of iota where it gives rise to cerebral vessels. Then continues down as descending thoracic iota. It pierces the diaphragm and enters as abdominal iota before bifurcating into iliac artery. This is one of the largest vascular structure in the body supplying major organs of the thoracic and the abdominal cavity. About one third of the aneurysm arises from the thoracic iota and two third arises from the abdominal iota. Of the abdominal iota, 20% is suprarenal and 80% is infra renal. Whenever you talk about abdominal aorta, you should look at the vascular structures which comes from the abdominal aorta. The first and foremost is the celiac artery which supplies majority of the intestine. Then little bit down you have the superior mesenteric artery which also supplies the intestines. Then little down you have the left and right renal artery. Below it you have the inferior mesenteric artery. These are all the major vascular structures which come from the anterior part of the abdominal iota. Why you have to know about this anatomy? Your intervention of aortic aneurysm will depend upon this anatomy. Few things, few measurements are very very important in the anatomy. The first and foremost is the distance from the renal artery. Okay? If it is infrarenal, you have to measure the distance from which the aneurysm rises from the renal artery. Next is the point B, which is the normal diameter of the iota. Because this normal diameter, you have to compare with the diameter of the aortic aneurysm. That is the third measurement. Another important thing is the distance from the iliac artery, whether it is located too superior to the iliac artery. These are the various measurements you have to look in the CT angiogram. Now coming to the definition of abdominal aortic aneurysm. It is nothing but an abnormal and irreversible. These adjectives are very important. It is not normal and it is irreversible. Dilatation of the focal area of abdominal aorta to twice the diameter of normal arterial segment. The normal artery, normal aortic diameter is around 2 cm. So, aneurysm is invariably between 3.5 to 5 cm. Another important character is, it should involve all the three layers of aorta, that is intima, media and adventitia. For in pseudoaneurysm, it may involve only one layer, but here all the three layers will be involved. Now, coming to the classification. 
here you have three major classification one classification by location another is classification by shape and third is classification by size now classification by location the first and foremost is called adrenal here it is just above the renal artery this is the left renal this is the right renal and it is above the renal artery which is called adrenal in other word it is called suprarenal location the next one is adjacent to the renal artery which is called juxtra renal and if it is below the renal artery it is called infra renal this was the classification of abdominal aortic aneurysm with regard to location now coming to shape it can be fusiform local this is fusiform diffuse a diffuse fusiform dilatation of the abdominal aorta and this is sacular form of abdominal aortic aneurysm and this is eccentric form of abdominal aortic aneurysm this is the classification based on shape of abdominal aortic aneurysm